I suspected for quite a long while. Um, not taking as much responsibility, losing car keys, losing his wallet, losing his watch, um, getting lost when he was going out driving. Um, you know, all these little signs sort of started to add up in my own mind. Well, it was when my husband Peter started to withdraw, um, sort of within himself, he um, started not wanting to talk to me and he started to withdraw from the children um, and to his friends to a degree. He started getting very tired. Um, he used to go to bed early and I thought that was a way of avoiding me. I thought that there was a problem with our marriage rather than that there was something physically wrong with him. I think it was day by day things that started to come undone to begin with. Little things like not being able to use the taps in the bathroom that we thought was a major plumbing problem turned out to be the fact that mother couldn't regulate hot and cold. We'd gone to a little cottage in the middle of the rainforest to sort of just have a relaxing time, me thinking, well, Jamie's stressed. By then I'd given up work because I thought he's stressed and I was in a fairly stressful job and it was just the two of us wasn't working. And um, so we, and we played a game of Scrabble, which we'd always done things like played Scrabble on holidays. And it took five days to play one game of Scrabble and he was so determined he wasn't going to give in. And I just felt sicker and sicker as the days went by and realised that he just couldn't think up words. Then he had a problem at work where they felt that um, he wasn't performing his job properly they referred him to a psychologist because they thought he was suffering from stress. Um, and from there he was referred to a doctor and um, just to a GP, but that's when I felt that there was possibly something more wrong than, um, than rather than just something that was an emotional problem or something caused by stress. Then driving home, he suddenly said, I've got a problem and I can't remember things and I can't... I feel terrible because I can't talk to you. I can't think of things to say. And there's, you know, I'm worried there's something wrong with me. So we talked about what it could be and whether it was a brain tumour or whatever. and Or Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's seemed so unlikely because he was only 55. And I think the uh, preliminary signs, I probably missed a few of them. But the real cruncher came when... Uh, Molly appeared to be having trouble with her eyes. Well, I really didn't think I had a problem. I just thought it was um, because I perhaps was living alone and uh, I wasn't able to relax. She was an instant no to any suggestion. If you said, you know, would you like to come over for lunch? Oh, no. And then you'd have to sort of coax her into coming out. And there was no real reason why she wouldn't come because she always used to like to, to go out previously. We went and saw an eye doctor and I'd known this guy previously and he called me aside and he said, Jim, I think you should uh, see a geriatrician. He said, I think Molly may have Alzheimer's disease. And I can remember that very clearly because I knew this guy reasonably well and I was standing by the window in his little office and I looked out the window and I thought, bloody eye doctor, what would he know about it? He was dead right, of course. He refused to have any tests done. He refused to go and seek advice because he said that if he spoke to any of his partners, then they would, you know, you just couldn't be a doctor if you had a major problem. And especially if it did turn out to be Alzheimer's, then he wouldn't be able to work anymore. But then when you pointed out that he wouldn't be able to work if he did have Alzheimer's, that he shouldn't be working, that was another sort of problem, that he just couldn't really quite face at that stage. He was having difficulty with his memory. He would forget um, a lot of drugs. He was very clever about it because he, he made up a lot of prompts and reminder cards. So I don't know for how long he, he hit it very well because he was a very bright man. And uh, often at partnership meetings also he uh, he would forget events that had, that had happened in the past. You know, you sense that something's not quite as it used to be. So, but at that stage, you don't have any label to put on it. 